cross. A missed kick by Sansom in goes Aldridge and Houghton! Jack Charlton's face looked like it was carved out of granite. There was a long, tight close-up of his haughty profile. Someone in the dugout nudged him. He turned slowly towards the camera, half smiling and casually shrugged, as though none of it mattered and he'd rather be fishing. People in the bar howled with joy. Go on, Jack. A close-up of the scoreboard now filled the screen. Republic of Ireland won. England nil. Yes. The words of writer Joseph O'Connor capturing the goal that started it all. The Charlton era, the glory days of Irish football, even credited for sparking the Celtic Tiger. Big Jack left a mark in life extending far beyond football. President Michael D. Higgins led tributes, saying he leaves a legacy of outstanding leadership. His players, some saying they were too upset to speak today, expressing their love for a man who changed their lives. Paul McGrath said he was gutted and Jack was like his second father. Ronnie Whelan said he brought magnificent times to the people and Packy Bonner simply thanked him for the memories. A minute silence was held before Premier League games while fans of Leeds United, the only club he ever played for, left tributes. A working class hero from the north of England, he was the most unlikely saviour of Irish football who came to lift it from its knees. An Englishman becoming the Irish national team manager at a, at a time which wasn't always easy politically and for various other reasons. But as Jack always did, he breezed into it and, and, and took it by the scruff of the neck. And, and he was, uh, for that, uh, a very, very special man. The time will be remembered by all those who lived through it. The nation holds its breath. Yeah! Italia 90 forever etched into Irish cultural and social life. Well, I'd like his family to know that the, the hearts of the Irish people will always be with Jack Charlton, will, will always uh, have a deep affection for the man, because I think he brought an honesty, he, he brought a robust uh, and joyful approach to sport. At a time of kind of very negative narratives around Ireland and around the Irish community in Britain, you know, Jack brought a really positive story to tell. And, you know, that uh, in particular, uh, he, you know, he gave, he gave confidence and pride to people who were, who were, you know, shy about their Irishness in Britain at the time. He died peacefully at home with his family by his side. They said he was a much adored husband, father, grandfather and great grandfather. He'll be remembered just as fondly by the Irish public for sparking sporting joy and making us dare to dream. Paulo Flynn, RTE News.